right then. You see them? 630 mil singles. So they come from underneath. We've had a right mess about pulling them in. Underneath, up the back of the panel, and then they're gonna loop over the top into it. So we'll have a look in there now. Got quite a lot of room. Pretty well designed panel. Back to back, parallel feeds. Uh, that's them up there. The rung in the middle of the cable is gonna come out. And then I think I'm, we might have to move the, um, the cables that come across, that go across there. They're gonna have to be re redressed somewhere else because I think they fall right in the path of where the cables are gonna drop into the, into the glam plate. But I'm gonna get a measure now and uh, I'll get the holes drilled. Well, we've had a slight disaster. Now that doesn't look that bad, right? <laughs> but what I did is, that's, so obviously that had the outer sheathing on, right? So I had hold of the knife like that, and I stripped it down. Are you gonna go, he's cut himself with a knife, hasn't he? He's cut himself with a knife. See that? That's what went through my finger. Because the ducts down under there have been put in like terribly, really bad. They've changed direction, changed level all the time, and the cable hit the edge and it's bent, it's fish hooked. Now look, let's pull that off and let's see what it actually looks like. There we go, look. So that, just ba basically you've got, so that this, I think this is your epidermis, isn't it, on the outside, and then underneath that you've got your dermis. It's gone through both. And I've just had to wait for about half an hour for it to stop bleeding. <laughs> so it's, it's got its own pulse now, it's going boom, 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 boom. boom. <laughs> but, the lads in the trenches didn't let it stop them, did they? So, I shall have to soldier on. Uh, and all I was doing was checking to see if the gland actually fit. So, I'll get on with that now. Right, this is around the back of the panel. There's all the 630 singles. But what we haven't got is any containment yet. So what, what's happened is when I've lifted the cables up, they've fallen, like a, a belly's gone into them like that. And now obviously I can't leave them like that because I won't get a true measure. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna fix a piece of unistruct to the wall. I've been informed that behind this is wood. So I should be able to get a decent fixing. So I'm gonna put a piece of unistrut down like that with pieces of rope behind it. And then I can t make loops in the rope and I can pull the cables in and have them coming up straight, right? In theory. <clears throat> but there's not a great deal of room at the back of this panel. I can't get that. My shoulders don't fit from there to there. So I've got to do everything sideways. And I'm hoping that I can, uh, I can get the job done, or at least get this part of the job done. Right, as I'm working at home, I've just got in. I'm gonna see what this looks like. I don't know whether I can show you it on YouTube, because it might be the fact that it's gore, and I'll get demonetized for it, but, I'm going to unwrap it. I might try and blare it out or just cut it out altogether if I can't. I suppose I can show you that. Obviously that bit was white. And then I've had the tape wrapped. There's a plaster and tape round it. So 
so we'll see. Right, I've just had to take my top off because the house is like an oven. I don't know whether it stopped bleeding because, watch, that's obviously the end of it. It's still got, it's still wet with blood. Should I be taking this off? Ah. I'll put a top back on so you don't have to look at me naked. Yeah, I think it's held, it's clotted. So I'm just gonna put another plaster over the top of clean one. And uh, I'm gonna go and have some tea. I think we're having Hello Fresh Burgers tonight, so that should be nice. The missus is just doing them as I'm doing this. And then I'm gonna have a nice, Davy Gala, because I stink, quite frankly. Right, it's a chilly old Monday morning. Bandage is off. It's, uh, I've knocked it a couple of times over the weekend. Oh my God. I knocked it on Friday as well. I did two, I did some cables underneath. There was a 120 and a 35 mil. Yeah. Yeah, they went in there, but they came from underneath, so we put them underneath. Ooh, can't do that, can you? I'm swearing. But I can't, that, that's awkward to point with. So yeah, put them up and got them glanded, got them terminated. And then I banged my finger about six times and I just said, no, no, no. Time to go home. Like, you know, as you know, if you watch the videos, I don't usually work Fridays, but because of the, the mess about that we had pulling the cables in, the 6.30s, which are just up there, because of that mess about, I thought I'll work Friday to get stuff done. And I mentioned previously the issues we had, the issues I had with getting the cables in because there was no containment. So the containment issue has been resolved. So let's go and have a look at that. So we've got, there's eight, eight cables in total. There's one, two, three, four, five. So why have we got five cables when there's eight in total? Because three are there. The lads who were doing the job ran out of tie wraps on Friday, so they couldn't complete the cables. Now, they've got, they're not coming till tomorrow to tie the cables back across in a bank going up, and then I can actually start doing this job. But let's go around the back. So there was my idea. What I did, I put this piece of unistrut on the wall, it's only screwed in, tied some loops to it and screwed them back. And then what that was to do was to pull the cables off the wall and away, well, towards me, so that the lads could actually get in, fit the brackets, fit the strut brackets and actually get the rack in, which they've done and they've done a fantastic job of it. They've done really well. Um, but yeah, they ran out of tie wraps. So, this has gone on hold. What I'm going to do now is those three that are there, look. Can you see? Let's get a bit of light on the subject. Let's move the, I can't fit in this bloody gap. One, two, three. There they are. So I'm going to try and pull them in here, inside, and lift them. If it's too hard to pull them inside, I'm just going to lift them up out the way. Because, let's go and have a look at this. So, those are the cables. Come from there, the ones that are tied back, I've got, there's a bit of room. The ones that aren't tied back lean right on those cables, those ones there, and right on the side of the rack. Now I've got to get a 70 mil and a, th a 25 or a 35, I can't remember. <coughs> Excuse me. And two earth cables into that, see the trunk and end? Into there to feed those two boards. But I can't pull the cable I need to pull the cable underneath those. I can't pull it round the back because then that cuts off me getting those cables back. So it's, I've got to move these cables first out of the way, up there like that one, which I've just done. But I thought I'll explain why I'm doing it. So they've got to be lifted up and then those, those cables, when, when they're out of the way, the other ones can come across and go underneath and down that little piece of tray and into those boards. So 
So it looks like that's going to be today's graft. Um, yeah, it's freezing. At least it's not windy and I'm inside, but it is chilly, chilly cold. I've still got my hat on. I don't usually wear a hat at work. And there was frost. It was the first frost on the windscreen this morning. I hate winter. Nothing good about winter. Up until it was winter's good until you're about sixteen or seventeen. And then you go to college or you get a job. And then, you know, Santa Claus stops coming to visit. And it's just cold and crap in it. So from now, basically, I'm going to mourn about winter time up until, I don't know, what is it? April? April or May? <laughs> it's going to whinge about it being cold. It's not much fun in the van either. That can get a bit uh, a bit tasty. I've got a little heater in there, which is all right, but when you wake up in the morning, that is chilly, chilly bones, boy. Anyway, again, waffling on. Not going to get anything done, am I? So I better get some work done. Get these cables up and out of the way. Fortunately, they're really light. 6.30 singles. That's them there, look. So, there they are, look. What's that? One, two, three, three and a bit, three and a half meters, and then a little bit to push back either to the wall or to wherever they go to. I'm not, I'm not going to be concerned about getting them inside, inside the rack, but they do go up there, and I'm going to rest them in that purlin so they don't fall back down. Incidentally, one more bit of waffle. Um, somebody asked me in the comments of another video. I think it was the first. Uh, the cable pulling video on this job what this actually is so this is a food factory of some description so they make processed food packaged up vacuum pack or not vacuum pack what's it called where well, you just in trays microwave meals and all that sort of stuff um and it's a it's on a trading estate an industrial estate that basically there was a, a farmer old school farmer and he he rather retired or he gave his son some of the land and his sons thought nah i'm not into that farming business so he's diversified like a lot of farmers are doing and he's um he's turned it into a into an industrial estate into a trading estate which there's a variety of things on it call centers and research places and stuff like that so he's, he's done a good job it'll cost him quite a, quite a few pennies like to do it because it is a big one and obviously just the HV, HV ring main, the HV ring to do, to bring it in and then take it all the way around to each building, because each building needs its own transformer and stuff. He's done all right, I think. Well, he pulls up in a, a nice Porsche when he comes to visit site anyway, so he's doing all right. But anyway, that's what this one is. It's to do, it's a food processing factory, making various meals, I suppose. Anyway. Not gonna make me any money, is it? Right, Monday morning again. Right, a few weeks ago, 
I made an Instagram post of some cables that I did, four core 95 mils. I thought I did a pretty good job of them. Now, they were for PV, photovoltaic stuff, I think. Well, that's what it says on there anyway. You can see? Yeah, PV stuff, right? So there's four of them. Now, the lad who was doing it came to me and said, I need to get a CT around <clears throat> each each core, each phase, so there's four of them, so a CT around the L1, L2, L3, right? Now, he apparently he's done it. <clears throat> so let's have a quick look. This is me and you seeing it at the same time. You ready? There we go. Just made my heart break a little bit, that. That's just made my heart break a little bit. How to put you in a good mood on a Monday morning. I imagine that's what it's like when you, you, you've got to take your dog to the vet and they go, yeah, his leg's going to have to come off. Oh, man. Anyway, one mustn't dwell. I've got plenty of graft to do today. So we're back on the 6.30s. Now, I had Thursday and Friday off of last week. And I said, will you get those cables dressed up that riser at the back? Yeah, yeah, we'll get it sorted. Three cables missing. I had Thursday, no I didn't, I had Friday off the week previous. I asked if they'd get the cables dressed. Oh no I didn't, I came in Friday. So I came in Friday, I was doing some stuff under the floor and the lads were in there doing what they were doing. So I came back in on the Monday, they hadn't been dressed, I asked why, and it was because there was no tie wraps. Fair enough. So we waited for the tie wraps, I had other stuff to do. A little bits and bobs like I put those there's a 70 mil and a 35 mil I got those put away ignore all of this so I got those in and then got them at the other end in the tops there so I got that done on Friday so yeah come in Monday morning a uh, Thursday sorry come in Monday morning and yeah there we go look still not done they had two days last week to get it finished and they haven't done it so oh, I'm gonna have to go and get someone to try and get that finished now. Right then, finally got them pulled into some sort of a position. Now what I've got to do, as you can see, if we can move over there, look at that bend radius. We're gonna be tight on that bend radius. What I'm hoping is, I'm gonna pull them, I'm gonna use that. See the rack, just at the back through that little gap there. I'm gonna pull that, pull them up onto the, well, attach the ratchet onto there, pull them back, and then I've made some wires, just like, they're really thick. They're not much good for anything else apart from what I'm gonna do with them. And then what I'm hoping is, when they get pulled back into there, right, they'll lift up straight like that. And then I can get, I can let the, the bend ride up a little bit higher than what I would normally like to do but it will get them in. So they're gonna come over the top of those cables and then I've roughly, I don't know whether you can see, oh, you can, look, you can. So what I'm hoping is, oh yeah, I bent, I had a little cap on the top of my finger and I went, I just went to put my coat on and I caught it and it's bent it right back over. So I've had to put my tape on and so there'll be no more finger banging, I hope. Anyway. That's the first line, so that's those ones, right? I'm hoping they can drop in somewhere there. One, two, three, four. And then what that'll do is the other ones behind, I'll just lay on top of those and then peel over the front and I can hit there. One, two, three, four. Then inside, because like that's sort of here, it's nowhere near those they're gonna have to, I'll have to bend them inside. I don't really 
relish the thought of bending 630mm single cores but I can't get them directly above the holes which some of them is like here and there's absolutely no way that's well maybe about there but there's absolutely no way that's happening so I shall have to compromise I can't the bend here the bend radius is my main concern so I've got to get them so they don't, they're not exceeding the bend radius and still hitting the panel. Wish me luck. Right, I've got them up. That was a monumental task. So this is somewhere near, obviously. I've tied them to the rack just to keep them where I want them. Then what I'm gonna do is get a measure down. So I'm gonna measure from here down Hopefully, I'm just gonna go. I'll be able to let them hit. Oh, that you saw, I needed that. And I've just climbed up onto the bloody panel. Last time I explained anything to you a lot. <laughs> so, let it drop there. I can sort of leave about here, I reckon. Let it drop in, and then that gives me at least one more row. If you look, so I'll have one here, one here. So they'll be right at the front of the panel. But that's just the way the bend radius is so there's not much i can do about that so i'm going to get four in a line and then four in front so those are the four that are going to basically they're going to peel over the top and drop when they move back to there the other ones are going to fall in there so that's the next the next bit is i'm going to mark the two lines I take the panel off take the panel off take the glam plate off drill the holes get them all filed up and whatnot, re-sit the glam plate, and then I can actually start getting some measures on some cables. But I just want to get by eye, I want the curve to continue round, right? So I know that I'm not just gonna like arbitrarily drill a hole, say there, because if that exceeds the bend radius of the cable, I won't be able to get the cable in. So I can't go too far forward, obviously, because I'll miss the bloody glam plate, but I can't. I can't put that one there, for instance, because I won't get the other ones in. So I'll have to come about here. Anyway, it'll all be, it'll all make sense. Oh, well, that didn't work, did it? Don't eat. So basically, it's gonna look something like that. I hope. So I've got to get, the, the, the frustrating thing is, I've got to put the back ones in, then I've got to terminate them, because they go to the back lug, obviously, on the copper, which is in there. So I've got to terminate, oh, finger out the way. I've got to terminate the back ones, and then change all my tools over again, terminate the front ones, and well, gland the front ones, then terminate them. So, yeah, I'll get some holes drilled tonight, and then the missus is poorly, so I'm gonna go home and make her some tea, because that's just the type of guy I am. A smashing, all round, cable jointing, husband, father, chef. She's a lucky woman. She's a lucky woman. She's got a heart of gold having to wake up to this on a morning. <laughs> like a, a homeless fella. Hasn't had a wash for a couple of days. Maybe why she, she that's maybe why she's poorly. I might have infected her with some, not, not like that. I might have infected her with like, I don't know, some like homeless disease. Homeless looking person's disease. Anyway, I'm gonna drill these holes out now, talking a lot of nonsense. Are you winding me up, Makita? I've had this, I've had that, I don't know. 
less than, well, less than six months. Definitely less than six months. It's cooked, it's knackered. What? I have to dig the receipt out for that now. Well, that's lovely there, isn't it? Two holes left to drill as well. Today has been a bad day. Right, shall we sum today up? Right, early hours of this morning. The wife is poorly, right? She is. So, she's been sick. She's in pain. She wakes, she's waking me up, but you know, I can't do anything about that. But, didn't get any sleep, really, so. I was a bit cranky, so then she says to me, you'll have to take the little fella to school, take the little boy to school. So again, don't mind doing that. That's not a, that's not a chore, but that makes me late for work, obviously. So drops him at school, goes around, gets the van, sets off, turns the van on, all of the dials just go wallop to the left hand side. Speedo, rev counter, petrol, temperature, the full lot and the, um, the miles travelled and the miles travelled that day disappears. Engine management like springs to life. Right, brilliant. So, <coughs> the garage I take my van to is on the way. So I think I'll go there and he can put it on a diagnostic for me. So puts it on the diagnostic. Yeah, can't find anything wrong with that, mate. That's fine. Brilliant. So at least I know it's not going to fall to bits. Carries on, carries on doing it. Dials are going like this, up and down, up and down. Finally levels itself out, but the engine management's still on. Anyway, then at the roundabout over that away, they're doing four-way traffic lights. So I was stuck in traffic for an hour, about 20 minutes, maybe longer. Gets to work. They told me about this panel here, so I showed you that earlier on. So that's like, oh man, proper gutting. First thing in the morning, that's what's happened to your graft. Then, the lads haven't dressed the cables in, right? So, I need to go and get that sorted, so goes and gets that sorted. Then, what else, what else happened? Oh, then, right, why I've got that on. Putting my coat on, right, because I, I had to walk outside to go and get something, right? So I put my hand in my sleeve, and there's like a flap of skin over the end of my finger now. That bent back over, with a new, so it exposed the new heel and skin, which didn't look very nice to be honest. But, so then I've got to do that, which isn't not the biggest thing I've ever had to do, but it's one of the many things. Now, drilling holes in the glamp plate, and my drill sets on fire. There it is on the floor there. I thought I better, I better leave it there, because if I leave it on anything, and it does actually catch on fire, then that's me setting the building up in flames tonight. So, yeah. Oh, and I'm making tea <laughs> when I get in, but I don't mind that because she is poorly. So I'm just waiting now. Oh, my, my drill, my other drill is in the house, so I can't drill any more holes. I'm just going to go and check the back of the van just to make sure what I think it is. So I'll have to take that back to screw fix. Hopefully I can find the warranty and the receipt if I've had the, the mind to keep them. So that, as Monday mornings go, that's an absolute, well as Mondays go, that's an absolute belter, and... And they've made me tidy up, look! Not to tidy the whole switch room, I know it's not the tidiest switch room you've ever seen. Just ignore, ignore that, that'll be, uh, that'll be getting tidied up soon. But yeah, and I've tidied up, so... How's your day been? There's my poorly little cow van over there, look. At least the traffic's died down, you can't see that now, but the traffic, see if we can zoom in. So that road's all moving pretty decent. But this morning, that was just solid. It was just, oh there's my finger, look, right the way back, all both, no one side approaching the roundabout. Can we see, oh there it is, there's Ely Cathedral, look. Ely Cathedral, the big city. So yeah, that's uh, that's been my day. I'm going home. I'm sick of it.
I, think, I don't even think it's four o'clock yet. Well, it can't be four o'clock because it's still light. It's not even four o'clock and I'm already sick of the day. I might put, I'll put some music over this, you know, like where you're just looking into the distance thinking, I wish my dad was Paul McCartney. <laughs> what they did has been. Right, I'm gonna have to go and check the van to see if I've got a drill. What a life. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> this day just gets better. It's like the Hound of the Baskervilles is coming for me now. You could see over there, I showed you the road in Ely Cathedral. Now look at it. We like driving home in soup. Ah, oh, Monday. You can suck my chebs, honestly. Absolute rhubarb day today. Cut my shroud too tight. I think it'll fit, but I'm going to employ the tie wrap ramp method and hopefully it'll work. He says, Today has just been a pure dog. A pure dog of a day. Can I get my hand round it now? <laughs> There you go, but it works. There was no way, absolutely no way I was getting that on. That's a beauty, that. I love that. Someone on Instagram told me about, I'm sure it was Instagram, told me about that. Brilliant tip. Oh, lad. I'm going to put this gland on, and I don't even think I'm going to tighten it, to be honest. I'm going to put it on and then I'm hitting the road jack because that that traffic, uh, that weather out there will make those country roads absolutely slothy. They'll be really, really like 40 mile an hour patter if I'm lucky. And I can't be bothered with that tonight because today, quite frankly, has been bloody awful. And for some reason, I've got Whitney Houston stuck in my head. What song is it? What's that? I don't really need to look. That's the one that the daughter sang at a recital thing. It's just stuck. That was like three weeks ago. Just come back into my brain there. I think there's a name for it. Lunacy, maybe. I don't know. But yeah, there's a. It's a, it's an earworm, isn't it? But there's a. It's like a medical condition. I'm not saying it's a medical condition. It's not. It's not going to die from it or anything, but. It has got a name. You can... It just sticks in your brain. My little boy's got it at the minute. With, uh, oh, what's that song? The Weller Man. Oh my God, not Paul Weller. Soon may the Weller Man come. Every time he opens his mouth. That's the word, he's, that's the song he sings. Right, that's me. Oh. Damp tash, just what you want. Yeah, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna leave that in the morning. I'm gonna tighten it up in the morning, then I'll drop it in. I can't cut. That's the other frustrating thing as well. I can't cut any length off it because obviously, if I was coming straight, straight from the hole, straight in to the um, to the lug, I could get a measure with a tape or with something and get an exact. Oh. That Levine, yeah, top the day off there. Fall off the steps, break my leg. Um, yeah, the, I can't even get that measure because I'm gonna, they have to go back over and they also have to bend and so, so I've just got no... So I'm gonna have to put all of it through and then cut it off. Oh. Why, did, why did I choose this? Cable jointing, eh? Idiot. Anyway, oh, on the plus side, I've got now got 4,000 plus followers on 
TikTok, and I've nearly got 7,000 on YouTube. So, yeah, doing all right. Doing all right. You'll be with the big boy soon. Right, that's me. I'm going home. Sick. Bye. Right, yesterday started off terrible. I had the, the wife was poorly and she'd had a terrible night's sleep. I had to take the little fella to school, so therefore I was late for work. Then the thing came on me, on my dash, didn't it? On the, the what's it called? The engine management light. Conversely, this morning, the local Tesco has had their oven fixed and I've just got a free chocolate croissant as I'm doing a test run for them to see if they're nice. See if they work. Let's have a look. Oh my God. It's like I've just bought it from my favourite Parisian boulangerie. Oh. Take me to church. Hopefully, today's going to be a bit better. like that with it being an alley gland you can't use the uh, the threads and the lock nut to pull it straight plus, plus a cable this size you couldn't anyway but it's best to steer away from doing that with an aluminium gland because they'll um, they'll shear and thread and then you are knackered right I get this lock nut on Tell you this for nothing. It's a good job 
the uh, the actual back of the panel comes off and I can get to it because I have no idea what I'd do if it didn't. It's hard because it is. Right, there's four in. This isn't fun at all. <laughs> I've got to go and get my crimper now, because I've got to get them terminated. I'm just going to go, basically, whichever, wherever it drops, it's going onto that, that lug there. So, this one is there. They were numbered up there, like four white. I was going to use that as the neutral. Oh, look, I've cut myself. I was going to use that as the neutral, and then obviously want L1, L2, L3, but... They ain't worked out like that. So that four is going to be L3 to one neutral. So I'm going to get them in now. They're going to have to like flow back like that and then drop in. Fortunately, I can attack them from the back as well. And then the other ones I'll drop into those holes there and I'll bring them out the front. Da 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 da. And la da da. Uh, I'll probably get them finished tomorrow and then I've got some earthing to do over there on the earth bar. And then that'll be me, I think, really. I might have uh, early dart Thursday. Uh, Thursday off, sorry. We'll see. Okie doggy. The story so far. So they'll loop over now. There we go. I need to label that one up, and it does, oh, you can't see for the belt, it needs straightening slightly that way. So then they come in, now I don't like doing this usually with single core cable, but because I think it's about 1300 mil from the lug to the actual gland, you've got a chance. You can let them float to the back and then go straight in. So I've managed that. Um, how can we see that? You see the difference? So like there's a front one, that one, that one comes past it, goes behind and it back into its lug there. So we've got those, like I said before, it's a good job this back panel comes off and I can utilise the space behind because, well, I think I'd have been knackered otherwise. So now it is, get the front ones in. So they're right the way up there. So I have to lower them down let them sit on top of the ones that are in and I want to let them just drift over the front and get a measure back to the gland and then hopefully up and in and then where I took those through the back and around I can bring the other ones out the front and let them drop out the front and I can get an easy measure on them now however what they want to do is they want to go that way when you're pushing them in they want to go that way so it's going to be a bit of a struggle to try and bring them out the front. But if it was easy, everyone would be doing it, wouldn't they? Jesus. Somebody needs a trim, don't they? We get the air cut at the weekend, I think. Let this trim down. I look like I've been living under a bridge, scaring small goats. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. If you haven't already... Get over onto TikTok because I'm on there now and I've just done an excellent song about uh, Strip and Scrap to the theme, uh, to the tune of Do They Know It's Christmas. So go over there and have a look at that. I thought it was quite good for my mediocre uh, playing skills. Right, we'll see you in a bit. We're back to the van. Now, a couple of weeks, was it last week? Maybe last week. Pulled a cable in, a 4-core 120, to a feeder pillar, right? For whatever it may be, external lights or whatever it is. Or the uh, charging points for the ve electric vehicles. So we pulled it in. I didn't know where, where it was going to go, but they've built the plinth. Let's have a look at this. There you go. Concrete, it's straight into the ground. Now, what's going to happen? That's 4-core 120, right? So you can guarantee the feeder pillar is going to sit on there, right? And then you're going to have a board, a DB mounted inside the feeder pillar, 
and they're going to want you to get a bend on that set back like that and then up inside the deep clueless absolutely clueless no movement whatsoever so you're going to have to take the board off the wall and put it onto the cable mind you it doesn't need to be that long i'm pretty sure <laughs> wednesday today and today is another good day because look what's happening <gasps> it's tarmac day and I'm working right next to it so it's gonna smell lovely anyway we'll get the key and get the switch room open now <laughs> <laughs> 